Well, good morning, everybody. It is a pleasure and honor to be with all of you today. We have representatives from the Commission on Veterans Affairs. We also have representatives from Every Mind and the Warrior Canine Connection, as well as the Treehouse Child Advocacy Center, who are all with us this morning to acknowledge this very important occasion. Uh, June is National Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder Awareness Month, and PTSD uh, has really, unfortunately, in many ways, become part of the vernacular that most people are aware of what the acronym stands for. Good that we are raising awareness, but acknowledging the challenges that PTSD brings and the thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of people around the world who experience PTSD because of significant traumatic stress that they've experienced. Often many of our veterans uh, coming back from serving our country, but also children separated at the border from their parents, people who are the victims of domestic violence. So many people, our neighbors, our friends, people in our families experiencing this every day. And so it's important that we as a council and we as a community acknowledge that this is occurring in our community and that we do everything possible to address it. I'm honored to be joined by my colleagues in the Health and Human Services Committee, but I know all of our colleagues on the County Council are especially committed to ensuring we provide every service available to those vulnerable populations who are especially in need. I want to now invite my colleagues from the HHS Committee to say a few comments, and I'll start with my colleague, Councilmember Craig Rice. Thank you, Councilmember Albert Nolson. Let me just say that um, when it comes to our Vietnam veterans especially, um, we didn't have that diagnosis that was so liberally applied as it is now, but that also provided service uh, for those members who served in that theater uh, that was incredibly challenging for them, both mentally, emotionally, uh, and socially when they came back home. And so now what we're seeing is late onset uh, PTSD uh, from a lot of our Vietnam veterans. And my father, who served in the Vietnam War, uh, who continues uh, to struggle each and every day with health complications as well. We all see it and we all know and we have members who uh, are here in front of us who have served in Vietnam and can tell you not only about the challenges that they face but also about the challenges that their friends who served with them faced as well. And so it's really important for us uh, to ensure that the health care services, uh, that the mental health uh, support that we provide is available. It's the reason why uh, we now have the VA center that's in Gaithersburg right here in Montgomery County that continues to provide connections for veterans who need it. We have a very large population of veterans here in Montgomery County that represent the uh, Washington metropolitan area. And I'm also so thankful for organizations like Warrior Canine Connection because I will tell you, um, we had a dog uh, and my children and I weren't home enough to care for Cody and realize that Cody would best serve my father. Uh, and I can't tell you how great it is to see the love between my father and our dog. Uh, and it really says something about that special bond that's there that really does help to combat some of the challenges that we see that our veterans face. And so I really wanna thank Warrior Canine Connection for understanding the love that a pet means and what it can do uh, to folks who have served and are continuously challenged each and every day. So thank you for all the great work that each and every one of you do. Uh, thank you, Chair Albernaz, for, for uh, issuing this proclamation today. And, and thank you uh, to my colleague, Councilmember Rice, for, for sharing your personal story. I love, I, I love hearing that. And, and thank you to our veterans and service providers. The, the statistics are alarming that 7 to 8% of the population experience some form of trauma uh, in their life and, and evolves into PTSD. And whether it is serving in the military or having other traumatic experiences, uh, similar to ones that we're experiencing today here in this country and in this region with immigrants who are facing um, obstacles coming to this country or facing obstacles along the border. Uh, these are issues that we as a, a community and as a culture are going to have to deal with and that's why this is critically important to address head on and to provide all the support services so that we can make all residents and all members of our community 
feel whole. So thank you. Uh, point of privilege, my uncle, Patricio Albornoz, is in the audience, who is an Army veteran. So thank you for your service. <laughs> um, and speaking, uh, speaking on behalf of the Commission on Veterans Affairs, Mr. Bill Gray will now say a few words. Thank you, Council Member Albanoz, um, Council Member Rice, Council Member Glass. Um, I'm a former chair of the Vietnam Vet um, Commission on Veterans Affairs. I'm also a member of Vietnam Vets of America here in Silver Spring. But um, I'm here today to talk about um, post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, some people have now dropped the disorder. But I'd like to thank um, Serving Together, um, Every Mind, um, Warrior Canine, for um, working with our vets. Serving Together is a, a, a group which um, uh, coordinates veterans who are dealing both with PTSD and financial, financial problems to get them the service they need. Uh, Warrior Canine, um, they, as um, was just said, they work with vets, the, the animals that help these um, different people with um, all manner of, of help, both opening doors. The other day I saw a, a, a service dog pick up a, a, a license off the floor so that a vet could pick something up, or any, anybody disabled. And one does not have to be a vet, as was just mentioned, to experience post-traumatic stress. Um, my friend Charlie Scheib is a combat medic in Vietnam. Mike Subin was um, served during the, the Vietnam War. And um, we are here I'm also representing Wayne Miller, who's the director of the Vet Center here in Silver Spring. He's a Marine vet, Vietnam vet, lost his left leg. He has four other counselors with him, all of, three of whom are vets. And I, I called Wayne this morning to get a number. Um, since the um, uh, beginning of the year, the Silver Spring Vet Center alone has worked with 3,578 veterans. And they work with people dealing with post-traumatic stress, um, traumatic brain injury, family counseling, marriage counseling, sexual trauma counseling, and I don't know how many vet centers there are throughout the country, at least 300, but it's a, a, a great service that we receive. So thank you for thank bringing you. it to the fore. All right. Thank you. All right, these are the best behaved dogs I've ever seen. Um, all right, we have a proclamation that we are now going to read. Proclamation, whereas the month of June in National Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder, PTSD Awareness Month, and Montgomery County joins the nation in openly discussing the causes, symptoms, and treatment for those with PTSD. And whereas PTSD can occur after a person experiences trauma, including but not limited to combat, sexual assault, child abuse, bombings, accidents, natural disasters, and it affects approximately 8 million adults annually. And whereas PTSD is associated with chemical changes in the body's hormonal and autonomic nervous systems, and symptoms include flashbacks, nightmares, insomnia, avoidance, hypervigilance, anxiety and depression, and whereas PTSD can impact anyone at any time in their life, regardless of gender, race, ethnicity, economic status, or educational backgrounds, and whereas combat-related PTSD stress among our men and women in the armed forces is significantly pronounced, given their frequent exposure to highly traumatic events for weeks, months, and even years, and whereas children who experience severe prolonged stress resulting from injury, violence, or the death of a close family member or friend may be affected long-term. And whereas, despite its treatability, many cases of PTSD remain undiagnosed and untreated due to a lack of awareness of this condition and the persistent stigma associated with mental health conditions. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby proclaim the month of June 2019 as post-traumatic uh, post-traumatic stress disorder awareness month and call upon our residents to reach out to their families friends neighbors and networks to provide support and encourage people to seek the array of high quality services our county's public and private sectors provide to those suffering with ptsd 
signed by myself and our council president, Nancy Navarro, on this 25th day of June, 2019. Thank you. Why don't we uh, get together for a picture, and I also want to acknowledge my friend Mike Subin, former council member who has served our country and our nation in so many ways. <laughs> 